We want to begin this half hour with a Ross of reports on crime on what's known as apple picking. Today's national investigative correspondent, Jeff Ross, is here with more. Hey, Jeff, good morning. Hey, guys, good morning. Look, you both have, well, you still have a Blackberry. Right, we're not I got a couple of devices. Right. Let's not get off onto a tangent. Savannah, here. you have an iPhone, right? Yeah, don't yeah. grab it. And you know, criminals have been stealing those iPhones, of course, for years, grabbing them from your pocket or your bag. But now they're taking it to an all new level, stealing them right from your hands as you're on the phone. Here's why. When you're on the iPhone, you're in your own little world. You're not paying attention, and the criminals know it. This morning, a real life thief tells all about how he picks his victims. San Francisco. This woman doesn't know it, but her casual phone call is about to end. Watch as this thief snatches her iPhone and takes off. Stamford, Connecticut. This woman is walking in front of a church, talking on her iPhone, when a criminal on a bike sneaks up behind her and grabs it. By the time she realizes what happened, he's gone. In Atlanta, a thief follows this woman into a store and makes his move, snatching her iPhone right from her hands. It's a trend that's uh, actually gaining speed. Police uh, call it apple picking, the explosion of brazen iPhone thefts. They often sneak up from behind you. The snatch is very quick, very fluid. You never even know what hit you. No, we get very poor descriptions of these suspects. Making them harder to catch. Oh, much harder to catch. It's happening nationwide and getting violent. Watch this thief in Los Angeles attacking a woman while stealing her phone. I don't think you'd see me coming. This man is a self-proclaimed iPhone thief, spilling his secrets to WNBC. Face hidden, voice disguised. He says he's turning over a new leaf, describing in creepy detail the tactics he used. Horrible as it may sound, I tend to look for women. The older, the better. If I think that you can't catch me, I'm going for you. He says most of us are easy targets, texting, talking, oblivious to what's going on. He says he swiped iPhones from tables and coffee shops, even public bathrooms. Time of day, 5 o'clock after people got out of work, because the more people that are around, the more you blend into the crowd. They drop their guard. They just simply drop their guard. And for the criminals, it pays off. iPhones are hot on the black market. The iPhone 5 right now, you're looking at around 300 bucks for it. With iPhones in high demand and criminals literally fighting for them, police are offering a new warning for all of us. Don't fight back. There's much more of a chance that you're going to get injured if you fight back. Let them have the phone. Good advice. And there's another layer to this identity theft. If they steal your iPhone while you're on it, they don't need your password to get in. You're already in the system. Now they have access to your email, your personal photos, videos, contacts, everything. Dave and Savannah, they can even reset your password right on the spot because it's already open. Uh -huh. oh, scary stuff. You've also got a hidden camera investigation for tomorrow, right? Yeah, we've gone undercover before, as you know, looking at contractors, air conditioning repairmen, locksmiths. Tomorrow morning, we are turning our hidden cameras on plumbers. Will they treat you fairly or charge you for repairs you just don't really? need? We've yeah, all been there. You have to call a plumber in. We wired up a house, watch these guys in action, and we're going to have the results of our hidden camera investigation tomorrow morning right here on Today. I love when Rawson goes undercover. I know. You're next. <laughs> <laughs> watch it. Watch what you wish for. Jeff, thank you.